Hello, people. This is Sammy, and today I have another episode of my NBA 2K14 My Team Mobile Challenges. So, in this episode, I have a challenge of using only players who have won more than one championships. And this was suggested by Kenneth De La Rosa. So, here's your challenge. I have Dennis Johnson, who won a lot of championships with the Celtics. I have Dennis Rodman, who won a couple championships with the Pistons and three championships with the Bulls. I have Horace Grant, who won three championships with the Bulls and one with the Lakers. I have Andrew Bynum, who won two championships with the Lakers. And I have Byron Scott, who also won a bunch of championships with the Lakers in the Magic Johnson days. So, let's play. But yeah, I, I like this all multiple championship winner lineup. Okay, let's use Dennis Johnson and we win that one. Okay. Nice. So far we're doing good. So far we're doing ooh, almost won that. But we we win this first game. I'm playing the rivals class. I didn't play the entire day yesterday for rivals class because I didn't really need to. I just wanted to. Whoops. I just wanted to be in the top twenty-five thousand, and I'm already. And 15,000 but I love do, doing these challenges so yeah just comment what challenge you want me to do next I already have a bunch of suggestions and for all of those people who are saying to do a Spurs team and stuff uh, it won't really make sense for me to do it that much because you see I really don't have any players and then for the Spurs, except for my pro epic Kawhi Leonard. And if you're saying, well, just get uncommons and common star from the Spurs, well, that really won't work because then I'll have one really good player and a bunch of bad players, so I'll lose almost every time. So, yeah, until I get some better Spurs players, yeah, I guess I'm not going to be able to do that challenge just to let you guys know. So, let's play. Okay, come on Dennis Rodman, yes. And Horace Grant, nice. Okay, so we win this game. And I wanna talk a little more about the NBA. I see lots of teams, as some of you might know, are interested in Kevin Love. One of them is my favorite team, the Lakers, but I heard something this morning that's pretty interesting. It's that the Lakers are willing to trade their seventh overall pick in the NBA in this NBA draft for Clay Thompson, which is a pretty good idea because you never know if the Lakers do use that pick, they might use it for a bust, so it won't be that good. But Clay Thompson is already a great player. Not superstar great player, but he's a good three point shooter and he's improving. So I think it would be great if the Lakers could do that. Trade their seventh pick for Clay Thompson. Okay, Dennis Johnson. Ooh. Can't win that. Okay. Come on, Horace Grant. Yes. I'll save my Dennis Rodman. Oh, I won anyway. Okay. That's good. That's good. So, who do we get in this? We get Willie Green. Okay. But yeah, some other teams 
interested in Kevin Love, obviously the Warriors, who I think have the highest chance of getting him, in my opinion, because they're trading David Lee, who is a two-time All-Star, and Klay Thompson, who's also a really good player, and I think maybe Harrison Barnes for Kevin Love and Kevin Mark. That would be cool. That really would be cool to see the Warriors with Kevin Love, Steph Curry, Kevin Martin, and Andre Iguodala. They'd just be making so many three-pointers, man. Because David Lee doesn't shoot that many three-pointers, obviously, but Kevin Love does, so that would be awesome. And another team that I saw was interested in Kevin Love is the Denver Nuggets actually yes they were they're interested in trading I think Wills ooh we get a tie Wilson Chandler Kenneth Fareed and they're going to get Aaron Aflalo somehow by trading their pick for Aaron Aflalo so then they trade Wilson Chandler Kenneth Fareed and Aaron Aflalo for just Kevin Love which I think is actually a better deal for the Timberwolves than it is for the Nuggets because then they lose a lot of good players Kenneth Reed is a great player so I don't know how that would how that would be a really good idea for Nuggets I think that would actually be better for Timberwolves but that's just my opinion so this is going to be the last game of this episode shoot i used it as fun okay i still won anyway okay horse green yeah if you like these episodes subscribe give this video a thumbs up and most importantly comment down which team you want me to do next so yeah let's get our two draft picks Okay, that's it for this video. Bye.